Happy birthday, John Rosenberg. I've tried before to thank you, never successfully. There can't be enough thanks for all you have been and meant in my life and in the life of our state and our world. I'll start with the most straightforward thing. You taught me how to work. You invested in a non-lawyer, um, couldn't win any cases at all. I could only help sort of knit together legal services program work across programs and across um, states and regions, and you took a lot of time to help me learn how to get better at that. Really specifically, you insisted that I learn to dictate communication. And I learned really pretty recently that I apparently insisted on that with people who worked with me in OKLSP then, now it's the wonderful, amazing Kentucky Equal Justice Center. Um, and one of them told me that she has since been insisting for 20, 25 years, I think she said, she's been insisting with people that they learn to dictate when they work for her. And of course, all that world has changed, but it still um, really speeds up and makes work more efficient. So that one thing um, would have been a lot, but there's so much more. You taught me to pay attention to community, not just to work. And you're, you did that by modeling. You never preached about it. I don't think you ever have, but you invested so much, you and Jean have invested so much work in your community, in the public schools, in women's health, in the community college, in the, the East Kentucky um, Center for Science and the Planetarium. And recently, um, the past few years, just striking work um, on Holocaust remembrance and um, helping us be more aware of what our present tendencies could get us into if we are not um, vigilant. And maybe I'll say the last thing about that is that um, my little story for you is one morning when I was in my first marriage to Howell Hobson, and I don't think he was working for Apple Red yet. You had stayed at our house on Park Avenue, and you had recently won a big law, Apple Red, you with the, in the lead had recently won a big law suit that you'd worked on for 10 years. And I remember Hal said to you, 10 years, John. And you looked at him and you said, well, how wouldn't you be willing to work uh, on saving the Kentucky River for 10 years if it would work? And Hal kind of stood back and said, well, yeah, I would. And so my observation, again, learning from you by your example is it's not 10 years, it's a lifetime of continuing to be committed to justice work, even when it is just hard and seems hopeless. Um, and that inspires other people to continue to do the same thing. I hope you have a wonderful birthday. I'm so glad to be here to be able to say happy birthday and to thank you with all my heart.